you would think that an emergent theory would be easy to formulate because we know that photons are emergent because we can create photons relative to our actions. Every time we light a candle or turn on an electric light bulb we create photon vibrations or oscillations. But such a theory would have to be based on the standard model of particle physics. Also it would have to contain the time dilation of Einstein's relativity and the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. All these theories would have to be an approximation of the new emergent theory. Phase changes of matter that are relative to temperature would have to be explained as emergent processes and all this would need a mathematical foundation and be relative to the four fundamental forces of nature. Luckily there are over 500 videos on YouTube that have been produced over the last 10 years that explain every aspect of this theory. Explaining how energy flows, the rate that time flows, as a process of continuous creation or continuous energy exchange with photon energy, mass and gravity being emergent properties with an uncertain probabilistic future unfolding photon by photon relative to each object or life form. The best way to understand the universe is to explain the interaction that is happening here and now, the interaction between the light of the electromagnetic spectrum and the atoms of the periodic table. For this interaction is continuously unfolding all around us, formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy. It is unfolding relative to the structure of the atoms and is therefore unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of life itself. Because life is within the universe as an interactive part of this process, we will see and feel this process of continuous energy exchange as the continuum of time. We will measure this process that forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life as a period of time relative to the atoms of the periodic table. But what kind of process could form the complexity and diversity of life? There is only one process that can form entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater complexity and diversity. And that is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. This is because in such a process the future is not based totally on uncertainty. It is based on broken symmetry relative to the structure of the atoms. The interior of a sphere will naturally form three-dimensional space that we have in our everyday life with the radiating energy or momentum from the center of the sphere always being at right angles to the surface of the sphere. This can be seen in our everyday life with electromagnetic fields always being at right angles to each other in three-dimensional space. All the platonic shapes can be formed within a sphere. But more important than this, the outer convexed and inner concaved surface of the sphere can represent the movement of positive and negative charge in three-dimensional space. We have an infinite number of line symmetries within a light sphere that in this theory represents an infinite number of possible timelines for future possibilities and opportunities. The great diversity and complexity of life could only be formed out of an infinity of possibilities that in this theory is formed out of simple geometry. Nothing has lower entropy than a sphere 
we have photon energy levels cascading down from the sun, forming greater degrees of freedom for the increasing disorganization of entropy and for the creative process that forms the imperfect broken symmetry of life. When the spherical symmetry is broken, it has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. In such a theory, the universe would be a continuum based on a geometrical process, with the information for the future to be based on the past being transferred by simple geometry. Each photon vibration only occurs once, but the process of energy exchange is continuously forming the movement of positive and negative charge with a continuous flow of electromagnetic fields in three-dimensional space. This dynamic geometry forms a driving force for the great complexity and diversity of cell life with the build-up and organization of positive and negative charge across the membrane of each living cell. The symmetry of life is never perfect because it is formed out of the broken symmetry that is innate within the fabric of our universe. This process is relative to the different structures that the atoms form, with different phase changes in matter changing how the process unfolds at different temperatures. At high temperature we have a phase change in matter and the same process unfolds at a much larger scale in the form of plasma. If we look up at the heavens we see this process unfolding in its most simple form with spherical stars and spiral galaxies. At such high temperatures in the form of plasma charge can cover a whole star or even a large area of interstellar space. This spherical geometry can even be seen in these images from the International Space Station with a candle flame in zero gravity naturally forming a sphere that is interacting with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. In our everyday life fire would take on the same spherical symmetry if the symmetry was not broken by this universal process of energy exchange that forms the potential for the ever-changing world of our everyday life, forming what we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time. Because life is creating the timeline of its own evolutionary path out of this geometrical process, this broken symmetry can even be seen as mirror or line symmetry within the physical shape of intelligent life. In this theory, life is the creator of creation, with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual the future is unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment relative to our actions. This can be in the form of art, music or poetry. This process forms a potential infinity of possibilities with creation in the hand and eye of the beholder. Within such a process the greatest probability is that greater beauty and symmetry will arise. Below I have placed a link to a video that explains the mathematics that represents this geometrical process. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.